just going to show you guys what you have to put on to the USB stick before you install the USB drive and get it running on the Amiga. So this open up. Here I have my Amiga thumb drive. And these are directories just to keep everything uh, lined up and simple. One Amiga is the uh, got directory opus, my workbench disks in there, my super hard drive disks set it up once I have the hard drive uh, modifications done. Uh, like I say, you can put tons and tons of games on one little USB drive. Uh, here's a lot of my uh, games starting with S. I like uh, Syndicate down here at the bottom. This is a really cool game. Another cool game is Sidewinder up here. You'll see that they're all in uh, .adf files, which is Amiga disk format, which uh, lets the Amiga read them from the uh, floppy drive emulator board. Uh, really important is to have these three files right here, this autoboot.hfe and this here config file. Uh, what these are is they're the files that the emulator board first boots up and then it gives you a menu to pick whatever disks out of the rest of them that you want and you can put in I think 99 disks at once and then you use the buttons to switch between the disks so it's uh it's pretty cool now that we have the USB all uh, copied over we're gonna take the USB and then we're gonna put it in the thumb drive and show you how it works Well, we're going to take this floppy and chuck it. And we're going to put this guy in. It uh, connects like a regular floppy in there. But I don't like this display. It just shows one, two, three. It doesn't show you any information, so we're going to get rid of that. So we've taken that out, chucking that. And we've got this nice little display. And once I get it started up, you'll see on here it tells you the disk name and everything else. So let's plug it in and get it started. Got our data cable and now our. Come on. power cable and our USB stick that we made earlier and later this is going to bolt right in there like so and I'm going to cut a hole in the top cover and we're going to put this here little display window there anyway just got to plug the monitor in we'll boot it up and see what it looks like Everything's on. I don't know if you'll be able to see this little display very well here. I'm just going to try to get it so it'll point at the camera. And we have power. And you see it's a firmware directory opus. This is hard to hold one finger. Next disc, next disc, next disc, workbench, directory opus, spare, auto boot. Oh, I forgot to save. Okay, side one. Saving, rebooting. Okay. Now we gotta get through here quick. Sidewinder. Okay, now we have the sidewinder. We've got our boot and sidewinder's loading. And the game starts. And I'll play for a second just for the fun of it. 